Gil with Arena is talking smack as usual, not knowing what he's talking about. And Kenya Martin had to correct him. Kenya Martin has been stepping his game up on the show lately. Thanks to Flea, he pointed that out. Because Rashawn McCants, I can't believe I'm saying this, is the only one that's logical up there. And putting Gilbert Arenas in his place by checking him. And then all of a sudden, Kenya Martin said, you know what? I kind of like that. So ever since then, Kenya's been dropping some jewels on there. Let's see what he had to say about the Knicks front office and the Knicks as, as an organization. Because no, he's the reason why. Yeah. He's the reason why. He's the reason why. But he's solely. But is Dolan yeah, that, will, absolutely, but is Dolan that loyal? Absolutely. loyal. Yeah. Oh, he's loyal. Okay, okay. Just, yeah. No, one thing he going to do now, he might not know shit about basketball, uh -huh. but he going to spin. You're right. You You're fucking right. Knicks do spin their right. 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 That been. is hands down he the best been. organization I've fucking played for, bro. Mm -hmm. Like far as wow. taking care of players uh -huh. and everything. Oh, they don't spare a penny, dog. They listen. They they don't cut no corners with taking care of their guys. That was the first place I went. We had multiple like medical staff. We mm -hmm. had fucking three trainers, four like PT guy. Like this is the first I where they was looking after guys' well being. Like they was pricking our ears and shit, checking the blood, all kind of shit, dog. Mm -hmm. Right. See, like I mean, you <laughs> see, you see it on paper that they did Dr. spend Callahan. money. Right. You just, you right. just be trying to figure out yep. why okay, is it not translating well, to play. win. So okay, so they do take care of the players. Yeah, okay. Absolutely, yo, they, they gotta get trying to find the right fit upstairs. Is this? Okay, yeah. so it they was the front right office. Yeah. Right. It front wasn't office. Dolan. It was the front office. Yeah. See, that's why I said, you know, Dolan gets all the blame yeah, because yeah. everything sucks. Yeah. but he actually spends his money and cares. Yeah, he just he just don't know basketball. He hiring the wrong motherfuckers. Okay, but now he got the right people. But yeah, Leon Rose there now. Now, so this I don't calling people out. Yeah. Man. We are in there Vegas. Were certain places, there were certain <laughs> people in place for a long time with the organization uh -huh. that people say was handicapping Dolan. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm. All information wasn't being relayed the right way at times. And you know how you know you got the middleman and this. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna feed you what I want you to know. Mm -hmm. And and that's all you're getting. Then you like you looking like the bad guy. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. But it was shit that was going on. Um, but you know, he gonna spend it, bro. Damn sure. Thank you all. Uh, shout out to, hold on, hold on. Let me get his T.I. Michelle 85. Give him a follow on Twitter if you're on Twitter. Because he, he did the work for me by clipping that up. Because that, that's how I work to clip stuff up and, and post it up here, man. Appreciate that from him. Um, oh, boy, what do you think about what Kenya Martin was saying? Oh, uh, it's about time, you know, somebody give the Knicks props. And he played for the Knicks. Um, I'm glad he said it. Because, you know, it, 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 for some reason, you know, people are scared to say things today. And it seems like the, the cool thing to say about the Knicks is all bad things. So now it goes to show you it was all lies. Like he said, we have that in life where, you know, you have people in the middle that confuses things. Or you may have relationships with people where they there too long and they don't know what the hell they're doing. And Dolan is so far up being an owner. He ain't paying it no markets like King said. I don't care about basketball, but I'm going to take care of my people. Listen, man, you see how it's, it, it, it stumped Gilbert because he he couldn't believe it. Oh, because he lied before. And he right, kept right. calling his trash. And he, right. No, no, he was on the opposite end before, talking out of his you-know-what. Right, 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 exactly. But I'm saying his, his response, if you notice, it was almost like he was, he, he was caught off guard because right. nobody is expecting anybody to say anything good about the Knicks. So when Kenya tells you, oh, no, what are you talking about? They treat the players great. Remember, what's been the word for the past 20 years? It's been nothing but negative. Right. So that's why I told people the Oakley situation is, remember, it's something else. That That's for a reason. That's not happened to nobody else in history. It may be personal, but some things, if it's personal, it may have to go to another level. I don't know who fought to this, but... I'm glad Kenyon Martin said something. The Knicks is a great organization. They take care of their players. And Dolan is going to spend that money. Now that he has the right people in place, now they know how to spend the money, where to spend the money, and who to spend the money on. But that was legendary from Kenyon Martin because if, 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 if you allow Gilbert to sit up there and just talk, he's going to be so full of you-know-what. And it's just at the, at, at the end of the day, I like Gilbert Arenas, but... His 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 intentions and his agenda now is just so flamboyant. Yeah. And it's just it's out of control now. So I'm glad Kenyon was up there to set the record straight. Because if Kenyon wasn't there, 
I'm pretty sure Gilbert would have had a field day with the Knicks. And come on, man. Like me and you been saying, that's my man Bane. Listen, he take care of his people. You may not like how we do it, but now look. Now look. So, you know, it, it, it's like having a girlfriend and yeah, you do all the things for her and she treating you bad. It doesn't mean you're a bad boyfriend. You still take her on a trip. You're still buying her gifts. But then now you get rid of her and you get a good girlfriend and think you see the difference. He got rid of those people that was in the front office that didn't know what the hell they was doing. Now you got the G's in there and within two, three, four years turn around. So Big shout out King and Martin. I love that he kept it real because it's crazy how no one else is coming out that played for the Knicks. All these years, it's saying anything. How many, how many plays the Knicks gave money when we know damn well they shouldn't have got no money? Whether they was injured, whether they was over the hill, whether it was over, hanging on a thread. Come on, from Larry Johnson to Penny, we go on and on. Allen Houston. Baron Davis, how many? Jamal Crawford, Zach, like, come on, man. J.R. Smith, J. Kidd, Mello. Come on, speak up, y'all. If Kenya Ma got that treatment, y'all all got that treatment. Come on, man. Stop, st stop letting people spin a narrative on our Knicks to, to keep stars and players from coming over here and wanting to play with us. That's why we ain't been able to win no championships because they've been spewing this, this negative nonsense. And guys like Gilbert Arenas, if you allow him, he'd try to do it for the next 10 years. Nah, so pr big props to Kenya Martin. Thank you. And I hope I hope that's, that has a snowball effect and other players come out from the past and start keeping it real about our Knicks. You see, I got James Dolan smiling up here. <laughs> I'm going... I'm going full fledged. There are uh, a lot of reasons why James Dolan earned that reputation, though. The way the organization was being ran early on, it was what you saw the Brooklyn Nets going through a couple of times. They traded everybody for old KG, old Paul Pierce, and old whoever, everybody else. And then you saw them go after Kyrie and KD. They, they were just looking for the superstar name because you had a billionaire come in and wanted to make a splash. And the Nets went through two billionaires in like 10, 15 years. So you saw it happen over and over again. You see it happen with Steve Ballmer over there, over there with the Clippers. They were desperate. They, went, they got Kawhi, signs him another three years. They're going through the same thing that all the billionaires go through. You saw that early on with the Knicks. And even with Carmelo, up until recently with Phil Jackson, I thought when he hired Phil Jackson, that was his attempt. Like, yo, I'm spending my money, bro. I gave him $25 million. What you want from me? Remember, he was stuck with Isaiah Thomas for a while. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Then um, yeah. when he finally had a chance to to re to re we were basically doing the same thing 14 years ago, right before we got Carmelo, and we had a chance to have Carmelo and Stoudemire with all the cap room in the world, but Dolan wasn't going to be patient about it. It seemed like he was getting the blame for getting them, and we have to now clarify whether it was him. Remember, he's mad cool with Leon Rose, and that start that relationship started with the Carmelo trade, and maybe even when LeBron and them sat down with James Dolan and, and and LeBron saw they had a Tony Soprano video waiting for him and they were like, I'm going to Miami. They didn't want to be in New York. I don't know if it was because of that. We don't know. But Leon Rose was in that mix and got to meet James Dolan because of it. So now, fast forward a little bit, the Charles Oakley thing, the Spike Lee thing, Patrick Ewing thing. Patrick Ewing should have a statue out there, man. Charles Oakley being kicked out the way that he did, Spike Lee being kicked out of the elevator, whatever it was. There was no, 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 the Spike Lee thing. I don't care who you are. He tried to go through a door that can't nobody get to. He tried okay. to. He did. Yeah, so, so let, let, come on, man. I don't, I don't see for me. I don't know that. I don't know if Spike went through that door before, through that elevated door before. And he's used to doing that. But the way that's being reported, it adds on to Dolan's reputation along with the Oakley thing, along with the Patrick Ewing thing. So they were smart on his name because of these things. So now you fast forward to today. You see, we got John Starks, Spreewell, LJ on the sideline, Carmelo on the sideline. That's a different, that's the, like, like a Yankee playbook. That's a legendary playbook. What Leon Rose is doing, and, and like the fact that he's helping James Dolan with his reputation, that's the, the Knicks and James Dolan. Remember, James Dolan had cameras, facial recognition on lawyers and everything. He's going through court cases and everything like that. So 
he's helping him with his reputation in New York City. Yo, James Dolan ain't never going to feel like when he walks to New York now, I bet you he feels a, a weight off his shoulders. And it ain't, I think that's what happens when you're a billionaire and people, you know, you don't know the game like that. And then you hire somebody that's an expert. That's an expert. I'm going to talk to all balls. I believe he's a basketball expert. I'm not going to, I don't like talking to other people. And all balls open and have a conversation with me. I don't know if, if the guy Kenya Martin was talking about that was not relaying the information may have been, I don't know if it was Scott Perry or whoever it was, Isaiah Thomas at a certain point, who was playing the middleman between James Dolan and the players. Because it sounded like James Dolan was a lot like George Steinbrenner. I remember when Gary Sheffield said that when he was on the Yankees. Yo, man, all, all I got to talk to, I, 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 I got to talk to the boss, man. Because the boss is going to give me the bread. All y'all in between me, nah, George is a, is a good dude. I remember Gary Sheffield saying that, and everyone else had something else to say about, you know, Steinbrenner at the time. So Dolan, I'm not saying that he, that he deserves all the blame for everything that, he, that we heard about, but where there's smoke, there's fire. And now Jalen Brunson, Leon Rose and them, they really revitalized this team. But to your point, the ultimate point is, I've never heard anybody say this is the best organization I played for. He said they got doctors and they were checking my ears and they made exactly. sure we had three, three different medical doctors. I didn't hear about any of that aside from any team besides the Mavericks. They say that about Mark Cuban. And with the Phoenix Suns, even when that owner was terrible, we've seen all kinds of players well, well I heard with their career. I heard John Sally say, uh, he said that about the Chicago Bulls when he played with Mike because he was saying like how the Lakers – he said how they ran their organization was terrible. They was cheap. Um, just a lot of things they didn't do. And when he got to Chicago, when he was in Chicago, he was like, yo, same thing. The staff, just uh, gourmet meals, just uh, physicians and nutritionists, everything. So I heard John Sally say the same thing about Chicago Bulls. And he said the total opposite about the L.A. Lakers. So imagine that, because if, if you don't even have – if you're not able to communicate with the players, how would you even understand that this is what's going on in other in, at other organizations? And Dolan's like, bro, I ain't even cheap. He's not cheap. And that's another thing. Yeah, we had McDice and, and, and Mellow, the Mellow years, and uh uh all of all uh you know Frederick Weiss and, and what's the guy that was uh bro, Steve Novak, Jerry Jeff, Jerry Jeffries, like uh 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 uh, uh junk y'all like you know how many players came through to the Knicks and got the bag. Like, like, come on, bro. You know who I forgot about? James. What's the, what's the, what's the guy that, that, not Calvin Booth. That's, that was, that was, not James Jones. That was, I'm going to look it up. The guy that, that, that 25 mil, five year, $25 million, like 20 years ago. Isaiah Thomas had some nerves cheesing, holding up his jersey at the press conference. Like he, like he solved the, the, the Da Vinci code. They, but again, that was, he just throw out, he threw the bread out. It, it, Bargnani, it, the list goes on. Even with Melo, he gave Melo the bread. So it wasn't the money. And also, he gave Phil Jackson the bread. When I saw he and, did that, I'm like, you know, even though it's, it's, he, he doesn't have experience as a general manager, bro, he gave him $25 million and he got out of the way. Yo, and what Dolan and the Knicks organization does is they create an atmosphere to where guys come over, play, and then look at where quickly and Hartenstein get. You get what I'm trying to say? That don't happen nowhere else. Yep. That don't happen nowhere else. So, yeah, man, Um, I'm just glad Kenya Martin said something. And there needs to be a lot more like this. So players know, you know, because I'm pretty sure all these superstars for the past 20 years, look what they've been hearing about the Knicks. So just imagine if you're hearing how great they treat their players. That's what makes some players want to come and play for an organization. They don't even care about winning. I'm going to get paid, and you're going to treat me great? I'm over there. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad King and Martin said something. Because, like I said, ain't nobody else going to say nothing. All they're going to do is lie. That was him. That's right, Thrillium. Jerome James. Yeah, Jerome that was James. Him. Horrible. He, was he on the Sonic before that? I couldn't believe he, he was cheesing when he when he threw his jersey. Like, Jerome, 25 million for Jerome James, Isaiah? Man, Isaiah we, got we, everybody. We, we gave Derek, we gave Derek Fisher twenty five million. Oh my on, god! Man. I don't even think he lasted the season. Come on, that bro. was insane. That was insane. Come on, bro. But, but and again, that's that. My thing with Phil Jackson is, we give him. More, you think he's the greatest coach of all time? A lot of people do. You ain't alone in that. On top of that, he he was he was with Mike Pippen, 
like you said, world, a world class organization while Jordan was there. Then with the Lakers, when John Sally was there, he said that they were running it like trash. I'm surprised Phil Jackson was there letting that happen. But Phil Jackson's a part of this. And he's he's with the Lakers. So he's seen, come on, man, they were they were winners for 40 years. The Lakers might be the best winning team in sports hit in, in American sports the last 40 years. So Phil Jackson's bringing all this knowledge to the Knicks. And Dolan's giving them all the complete control of the reins. How, like I, I can't be mad at that as a billionaire. That's not you saying I'm gonna sign, um, you know, Bar, uh, uh, Barnani for four years, whatever the the contract was. That's not uh, the McDice contract. That's not you going for a player giving them the money. That's you saying, y'all want to see that I don't that I could give up my control of the Knicks. Here you go. Stop telling me otherwise. And then then when he made the Leon Rose move. We were skeptical about it because he's an agent. It was part of the whole agent, agent, the former agents running a team wave. Leon Rose does follow that. But then when you see what was going on, he, the, like we said the other day, it could have went left. It could have been a different thing when you have this nepotism, what you see with the Lakers. The nepotism with the Knicks is working out because these guys are going from top to bottom. We'll, we'll talk about the rookie kid in a second, Tyler Kolick. He's been absolutely impressive. Got him in the second round. Just everything they've been doing lately, they've been, they got the Midas touch. And Dolan has to get a lot more credit for that. He just does. He just does. Sometimes you gotta, you know, when you're arguing with your girl, stop arguing. Get out the way. <laughs> don't say nothing. It don't make sense. There's no winning in it. And Dolan stopped arguing. Here you go. Now what you gotta say. And he did it twice, back to back, in my opinion. The Phil Jackson thing did not work out. But if it did, what would you say then? That's the only reason why we complain about it, because Phil Jackson was a was garbage. And Leon Rose is the complete opposite. The complete opposite. Shout out to Brock Aller as well. He should get a lot more uh, love. World Wide West, of course. All these guys. Oh, all, all ball oh, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe.